Hello YouTube audience, it's me, Houston B, and today we're going to be installing some goodies, alright? It's the Gator Trifold Tonneau Cover on one of the most loved versions of the F-150 in existence. It is the 10th gen faded XLT. So first up. A durability test on the packaging. Does this packaging hold up? So what we're gonna do is this. We got the F-150 pulling the box. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, everybody, time for a moment of truth. How did the the uh, box survive, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and get these tie-down straps out of the way. So there's a hole right here. Hopefully I didn't damage too much. Here's a moment of truth. Okay, well, it looks like uh, it's just a little dirty. But other than that, everything's all right, except for maybe this piece right here, but it was wrapped in plastic, so you know. So we got uh, some mud there. Got some mud everywhere. Now this is the part right here. I may have uh, messed something up here, but I think it'll be all right. It's made out of metal, you know? So uh, initially, the uh, packaging did kind of uh, rip real easily. So let's get into uh, trying to set this bad boy up on here. Okay, so first things first, we uh, take this back end, right, where it has these clips. And what we're gonna be doing, sliding it all the way back here, making sure there's no debris, right? And then what we're gonna do is carefully roll it out. And basically what you're doing right here as you're checking the alignment, right? Checking to make sure it's not on one side too much. Yeah, it looks good. Looks like it might be a little too far this way. So now carefully, what we're gonna do, roll this back like so. All right, so what we need to do here is uh, move this tail clamp over here, right? Hopefully you can see it. You line it right under here. You start twisting, twisting, twisting until it catches. I said hand tight and then the additional two turns. All right, I feel like that's pretty tight on there, right? You do the same on the other side. So now what we're gonna do is completely close this tonneau cover with the bed open. Boom, boom. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. All right, next step, slide the rear clamp out of the bed, out to the bed wall. Pull the rear clamp down and hook it under the bottom edge of the metal bed flange. This, fold down, it goes over like this. Boom, perhaps a little bit closer on this side. So you slide it over. You pull it down, just like that. Okay, it's spring-loaded. Just go like that, and boom. Now it's clamped in there. The last step, take these back off, because now it's all pretty much installed. Boom, boom. And what they're saying to do is just take these little clamps they have right here, unscrew them, and you're gonna go ahead and attach them. Take this right here, Gonna unscrew it a little bit, pull it all the way down here, and have it bite down, tighten her up, and you should be good to go. 
That, my friends, is the tonneau cover install. Let's just go ahead and uh, run through impressions, right? So that was really easy. Boom, boom. All right, let's do the closing test. Look at that, can't open it. The Gator Trifold tonneau cover. Open her up, and then if you want to go off driving, you basically just pull over this uh, little strap here. Buckle it in on both sides. Checking in after a little bit of a rainstorm, how uh, weather tight it is. I did drive through the rain. Yeah, look at that. It's looking pretty dry in here. But wait, aren't you curious just how well this Gator performs on the road? I'm about to test that out for y'all. Have a camera mounted up here. Camera will be mounted on the tailgate. And I'm also gonna get a shot of the interior behind the wheel. Here we go. First up, we got the outside view clocked in at 50 MPH. Next, we have the inside view, clocked in at 50 MPH. And lastly, we have the tonneau cover actually opened up this time at 50 MPH. Well, there you have it guys. Tonneau cover. Should you buy it? I think so. This thing, um, I've had it for about a week now. I've loved it. It just overall cleaned up the look of the truck. So you're not seeing all the nastiness in the bed. It's secure. I mean, obviously someone can come through here with a knife. I mean, this is just literally vinyl. I can put something in here, lock up my tailgate, and you know, it's gonna keep honest people honest. It also provides uh, shelter from water. So we had some crazy rainstorms, not only today, but yesterday and the day before. And, I, and it actually was not wet at all. I also showed where we had the bike stowed up underneath here. You can fit in this bed. It's a six and a six feet, seven inch bed, I believe. And I was able to fit one bike underneath the tonneau cover, which is actually pretty cool because if you think about it, you don't want the handlebar sticking through this uh, vinyl stuff, but I was able to kind of angle it just right to where, you know, you could fit a bike in there. Thanks for watching. Like, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, dislike it, but, um, see you around.